Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the relationship between pregnancy and nutrients. It's so important that a woman that is going through pregnancy take the right type of nutrition. I'm not talking about just taking a synthetic uh, prenatal. I'm talking about the food, the eating. It's very, very essential. Anytime you do a prenatal, you want to do a food-based prenatal. Don't get the synthetic versions because it's not the same. There's over 2 billion people on this planet that have serious nutritional deficiencies. And uh, if you're going into pregnancy, I can't emphasize enough the relationship between the fortification of nutrients and a growing healthy body. If a woman who's carrying a baby is deficient in a, either a mineral or a vitamin, it creates huge consequences. So let's just kind of go through this. Uh, vitamin A deficiencies. Vitamin A is, is a fat soluble vitamin. It's essential for vision. And if a mother is deficient, they can have all sorts of problems, not just with night vision, but the baby could have problems with the formation of the eye, the cornea, the membranes around the eye. And vitamin A is very important in differentiating cells. In other words, you need vitamin A to tell the cell what to develop into. Um, so I'm talking about spinal cord, heart, ears, specific types of tissues. So if there's a deficiency in vitamin A, there's going to be a mix up in what cells are what. Premature birth, okay, low birth weight, and miscarriage. The best source of vitamin A is virgin cod liver oil. I highly recommend that. And then salmon and egg yolks, okay. And then we get to vitamin D. And then we have rickets, okay? That would be weak bones, uh, difficulty walking, um, a loss of connective tissue that holds the bones together. And you get vitamin D from the sun, uh, dairy, and fish, and cod liver oil as well. So then we have copper. Copper is a trace mineral. So if a pregnant woman is deficient in copper, the child could have what's called sway back, which is an excess uh, curvature in the lower back. So it's kind of exaggerated. Um, the best source of copper is seafood, like oysters, lobster, crab, seaweed, or sea kelp. Okay, you can get copper from that. If you're deficient in iron, you can have anemia, and that can set the child up for all sorts of problems with miscarriages and low birth weight, premature birth, things like that. Uh, red meat, uh, eggs, seafood, great source of iron. Uh, and I definitely recommend um, a grass-fed liver. Okay, iodine. If you're deficient in iodine, you're going to have just a smaller child. The brain's not going to develop. Uh, you're going to have cognitive issues. The IQ is going to be lower. And also, you can have a miscarriage. Okay, get your iodine from sea kelp, from a very good, high quality location. Then we have the mineral magnesium. Okay, and you have also selenium, which is a trace mineral. If you're deficient in either one of these, a low birth weight, uh, miscarriage, or preeclampsia, which is a condition, a very toxic condition where you have high blood pressure, the organs become toxic, and you can have all sorts of other complications. You want to get these minerals from leafy greens, seeds, nuts, and you can get a selenium from Brazil nuts. And these trace minerals, which are minerals needed in smaller amounts, are really involved in the enzymes. And enzymes help the formation of proteins, which are all the organs. Then we have low vitamin B1. That can set the child up for getting something called sudden infant death syndrome because B1 is involved in the autonomic nervous system development. And the autonomic nervous system goes to the respiratory centers in the brain stem. And that's where you have the breathing centers. So sleep apnea if you're an adult, sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS if you're uh, a baby. Toxemia is a condition where the mother's going to have high blood pressure issues. Uh, kidney issues, liver problems, and there's an increased risk of fatality in the uh, fetus and also in the mother. Okay, so pork, actually, believe it or not, a high quality pork actually has a lot of B1. Nutritional yeast is a really good source of vitamin B1. Asparagus has B1. Organ meats, like liver, has B1. Okay, let's talk about vitamin C. Vitamin C deficiencies, uh, that's involved in a lot of uh, formation of collagen, so you can get preeclampsia. So there could be a problem with premature birth because if the placenta is detaching too quick and the water breaks, um, and then the pregnancy starts kicking in there way too early when the infant is not formed yet. So vitamin C, bell peppers, leafy greens, sauerkraut, very high in vitamin C, okay? Then we get something called folate, which is one of the B vitamins. 
If you're deficient, you can develop something called neural tube defects, which basically the spinal column and the spinal cord are not developing properly. So you have this little bulge in the back where the spinal column is actually sticking out of the spine in the back, which could be totally prevented if there's folate in the system. Okay. Also, you can have cleft palate, which you've probably seen people have these little stitches right here where, a, where the formation of the top of the palate uh, of the mouth is not formed and it's going right into the nose right here and they have to do surgery and stitch that up right there. So if someone takes bullet, they can prevent this condition from happening. This could also happen from being exposed to a pesticide and sometimes it could also be a vitamin A deficiency. A lot of times it's just all blamed on genetics but there are huge connections with nutrient deficiencies as well. Leafy greens, okay, so that's why it's so important for someone pregnant or even well before you're pregnant to start eating healthy. If you're thinking about having a child, starting healthy for a long period of time, get your body in really good shape and so that way when you have the baby, everything is really smooth. Manganese, okay, another trace mineral, very important in developing the skeletal structure. And if you're deficient, you can have all sorts of problems with even flat feet, a malformation of the bone, the maxillary bone up here. So you have either underbite or an overbite. You're probably gonna need braces. So if you looked at a common thread, all the different minerals and trace minerals are very important in the formation of enzymes that then um, have to do with proteins and building body tissue. So you can see there's so many different trace mineral deficiencies and also um, fat soluble vitamin deficiencies right here and even water soluble vitamin deficiencies right here in relationship to a body that's not forming correctly. So here's the thing, you can actually um, just not consume these nutrients because your diet is lacking them, okay? You can also be a pre-diabetic or a diabetic or have insulin resistance, which by the way, 65% of the population has either pre-diabetes or diabetes. So chances are you might even have this, in which case you're not gonna even absorb these as well as you should, compounded by the fact if your diet is poor too, if we add these together, then you're really gonna be deficient. And so that prenatal really doesn't really do a lot. Consuming refined foods, going to fast food restaurants, eating junk foods, depletes your nutrients big time, especially when you're doing sugar and refined grains. If you had gastric bypass, that's gonna prevent the absorption in the small intestine because you don't that whole uh, small first part of the small intestine is bypassed, so you don't have access to it, so you're not gonna absorb as much. Also, if you have low stomach acids, you're not gonna absorb the minerals, so you need to take more acid. So what I'm trying to do is increase your awareness on the connection between nutrition and formation of a healthy baby. So if you're thinking about being pregnant, starting healthy right now, and make sure that you have everything needed to form a healthy baby. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.